Alright, so now we are going to look at how we're going to draw a triangle with three lengths given, like we see in this question, to construct triangle PQR, given PQ as 6cm, QR 7cm, and PR 8cm. Okay, but before we start, please make sure you have all the equipment that you need, which is basically a ruler, your compass with a pencil, as well as your protractor. Okay, so step one, get your compass ready by placing the pencil in. Alright, and so here we have the three items that we need and we're ready to start drawing the triangle. Alright, so the first step in drawing any shape, okay, triangles or quadrilaterals, is to make sure we use our ruler to start off with drawing a straight line. So we can look at the first info given, PQ6CM, take a ruler and draw a line 6CM long. Right, and there we go. So this is done using a ruler. This is my 6cm line. So once I've drawn it, make sure you label it straight away with the points as well as the length. Okay, so we are done with the first information given. Let's move on to the next info, QR7cm. Alright, so the most important thing to know how to draw is to make sure you're aware which equipment to use. Okay, only the first length can be drawn using a ruler, which I did just now to measure the length. All other lengths given, you have to make sure you use your compass. Okay, so QR7CM has to be drawn using your compass. Okay, so first step in using a compass, open the compass to the length given, which is 7CM here. So make sure you place the needle at the right spot, which is starting at 0, not starting at one. Alright, and we move it to 7cm. Alright, like this. 7cm. Okay, that is how you prepare your compass to draw QR7cm. Okay, it's important that after you have opened the compass to the length that you want, you do not move the compass anymore. So it's kept at a distance of 7cm. Alright, next, you need to decide where am I going to put the needle now? Alright, 7cm is to be used to draw QR, so you can either put the needle at Q or R. Okay, we only have P and Q, we do not have point R yet, so obviously we are going to put the needle at point Q. Alright, over here like this, put the needle at Q, and we will draw a curve. Alright, once through, draw the curve. Please make sure you do not erase this. Okay, as this would be given marks as part of your working in drawing the triangle. Alright, so we have just used this information. I've drawn my arc QR7CM using the compass. Now we have a third information to draw, PR8CM. Okay, likewise, you need to be sure which of the equipment we have here are you supposed to use to draw PR8CM. Okay, so obviously this is a length, so lengths have to be drawn using your compass. Alright, so it's the same steps as what we did for 7cm, just that now we have to adjust the length to 8cm instead. Okay, 8cm. Alright, so I have my 8cm distance open in my compass. Make sure you do not adjust the distance anymore. And now decide where am I going to place my needle. 8cm is for PR, so I can either place the needle at point P or point R. Okay, right now, R is still not appeared yet. We only have P, so obviously I would place my needle at P. Alright, like this, I'll place the needle at P. Draw a curve. Okay, we don't have to draw it very long. We just need to make sure that the two curves that we have drawn have met each other. Alright, so why do we have to make them meet each other? It is to help us locate the third point of a triangle. We have P, we have Q, we are short of R. So R is basically where the two curves met each other. So point R is over here. Okay, so after drawing our two curves, we would have located point R. And obviously, this doesn't look like a triangle yet. So we have one last step to do, which is to take your ruler join the three points together such that you have a complete triangle right so this is point r i'm going to join r to p 
And likewise, point R to point Q. All right, so now we have the triangle, but there's still one more last thing that we have to do. Okay, we have to make sure the triangle is completely labelled with all the information you are given in the question. So PQ 6CM already labelled. Likewise, I need to label QR to be 7CM, PR 8CM. Right, so all the three points of the triangle must be labelled as well as all the three information given, which in this case are the three lengths, 6, 7 and 8 cm, they have to be labelled. Okay, because when the teacher marks your work, we are marking for accuracy, which means to say the lengths are correct. So you can actually do a quick check. This is 6 cm. Yes. Okay, this is supposed to be 7 cm. Okay, yep, 7 cm. And PR is supposed to be 8 Okay, yes, and we have 8 cm. So that's what accuracy means, that your lengths are drawn to the correct values given. Okay, you are given marks for your curves, okay, which are these two curves that you have drawn using your compass. So it's important that for these curves, you do not erase them. Alright, because this will count for one mark, accuracy, one mark for curves, and of course the third mark you are given is for labors right which is the pqr as well as the lengths right so that is how you get your three marks when you're asked to draw a triangle given the three lengths